Hello everyone, welcome to Scalp Acupuncture 11. Pakwa Scalp Acupuncture or the Lu Scalp Acupuncture. Pakwa Scalp Acupuncture was developed by Professor Ping Chuan Lu at the University of Traditional Chinese Medicine in Guangzhou, China. This system is based on the book Chou Yi, Pakwa Theory, combined with head meridians and points traditional acupuncture theory, and theories of modern anatomy and physiology. This kind of scalp acupuncture mainly treats conditions of paralysis, stroke, Parkinson's disease, and brain disorders. This figure shows the traditional way of making maps in China. That is, north is located on the lower part of the map, and south is located on the upper part of the map. Perhaps this was done because the sun is located toward the southern direction and represents yang energy. So south was placed on the top of the map, which also represents yang energy. The left side of the map is east and the right side is west. Locations and Indications Bakwa 1. Do 20 of small Bakwa. Choose do 20 as the middle point. This is a group of 8 points, one soon, anterior, posterior, left, right, upper left, upper right, lower left, and lower right from do 20. Each point is 45 degrees from the next. Needle toward the middle point, do 20, using the running needle technique. Indications. Lower limb motor and sensory disorders, chorea, headache, dizziness, seizures, mental disorders, rectal prolapse, uterine prolapse, and insomnia. Bakwa 2. Do 20 of middle bakwa. Use do 20 as the middle point and do tsun away from do 20 in the same direction as the do 20 of small bakwa with a 45 degree angle between each point locate the eight points needle anterior toward do 21 posterior toward do 19 and sideways toward bladder 6 and bladder 7 indications Upper and lower limb motor and sensory disorders, spleen and stomach disorders, urinary bladder disorders, intestinal disorders, writing difficulty, neck pain, headache, hyperthyroidism, and tinnitus. Pakwa 3. Do 20 of big Pakwa. Use do 20 as the center point. Three soon away from do 20 and locate the anterior, posterior, left, right, upper left, upper right, lower left, and lower right points for a total of eight points. There is a 45 degree angle between each point distributed in the Pakwa form with running needle toward do 20. Needle do 22, do 18 bladder 8, gallbladder 18, gallbladder 17, and gallbladder 16. The meridians used in this technique are the 2, gallbladder, and urinary bladder. Indications, insomnia, memory disorders, nominal aphasia, motor aphasia, upper and lower limb motor and sensory disorders, paralysis, head and face, sensory disorders, migraines, dizziness, tinnitus, deafness, upper jaw conditions, sore throat, and chest tightness. The do 20 of small, medium, and big bagua are the most common baguas called acupuncture points used to treat paralysis. They achieve good results. Usually choose one or two bakwas according to different conditions, sometimes in combination with other areas of bakwa technique 
to enhance the treatment effect. Pakwa 4. Do 20 of anterior Pakwa. Tutsun anterior from do 20 or 0.5 fen anterior to do 21 is the middle point. One soon away from this middle point, locate eight points in the form of a bagua. Each point will have 45 degrees between. Insert the needles toward the middle point, running through do 21 and do 22. Indications, sequelae of wind stroke, seizures, nose diseases, dizziness, frontal headaches, head and neck, motor and sensory disorders, difficulty writing, and middle jaw conditions. Pakwa 5. Do 20 of posterior Pakwa. Use to soon posterior to do 20, which is 5 fun posterior to do 19 as the middle point. One soon away from the middle point, locate 8 points in the form of a Pagua. Each point will be separated by 45 degrees. Insert the needles toward the middle point, running through do 19 and do 18. Indications. Motor disorders of the four extremities, loss of balance, occipital pain, neck stiffness, seizures, vertigo, and vomiting. Bakwa 6. External occipital protuberance bakwa. Use the external occipital protuberance as the middle point. One soon away from this middle point are the eight points in the form of a pakwa with 45 degrees between each point. Indications. Nearsightedness, cataracts, cerebellar disease, loss of balance, dizziness, lumbar stiffness, motor disorders of the lower limbs, loss of voice, and seizures. Pakwa 7. SJ20 of upper Pakwa. Too soon above SJ20 as the middle point, choose one soon away from the middle point to locate the eight Bakwa points. Use a running needle technique insertion toward the middle point. Indications. Sensory aphasia, dizziness, tinnitus, deafness, head, neck, and upper limb motor disorders, gallbladder conditions, migraine headaches, gallstones, mental disorders, and sequelae of wind stroke. Pakwa 8. Sanjiao 20 of superior posterior Pakwa. 1.5 soon superior and then 1.5 soon posterior from Sanjiao 20 is the middle point. Choose one soon away from the middle point to make the Pakwa form and use a running needle toward the middle point. Indications. Sensory aphasia, nominal aphasia, apraxia, memory disorders, maldevelopment of the brain, hysteria, insomnia, ear problems, and gallbladder conditions. Pakwa 9. Stomach 8 to gallbladder 7. Pakwa. The midpoint between stomach 8 and gallbladder 7 is the middle point. Choose one soon away from this middle point to form the pakwa and use the running needle technique toward the middle point. Indications. Facial paralysis, trigeminal neuralgia, motor aphasia, maldevelopment, dysgeusia, salivation, chorea, Parkinson's disease, migraines, eye pain, tooth pain, tinnitus, deafness, motor and sensory disorders, and gallbladder conditions. Pakwa 10. Do 24. Pakwa. Do 24 is the middle point. One soon lateral to this point, locate the eight points to form the Pakwa. Insert one soon needles toward the middle point. Indications. Upper jaw diseases, intercostal neuralgia, chest pain, 
allergic rhinitis, nose bleeding, vertigo, intellectual disturbances, schizophrenia, hysteria, neurosis, insomnia, seizures, and headaches. Pakwa 11. Stomach 8, Pakwa. Stomach 8 is the middle point. Choose one soon away from the middle point to locate the eight points around the middle point with 45 degrees between each point in the shape of the pakwa, running the needles toward the middle point. Indications, middle and lower jaw disorders, spleen, stomach, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, urinary bladder, kidney, and reproductive system disorders, as well as indications on the gallbladder, urinary bladder, and two meridians. Thank you everyone for your attention and hope to see you on our next videos.